Over the last year, Google's been quietly building up a big collection of free AI tools, but a lot of people haven't even heard about them. So in this video, I'm gonna share with you 11 free Google AI tools that you need to know about right now. The first tool is called Opal, and it allows you, as you can see in the screen here, build, edit, and share mini apps using natural language. So you just type in what you wanna create, just click on the create new. And so you can come in here and just describe what you wanna build. So let's just say, for example, an app that takes a blog post and optimizes it for SEO, GEO, AGO, and AEO. I can just start typing that in. I can say build an app that takes blog post, optimizes it for not only SEO, but also GEO, AGO. All right, that's literally all I have to type in here. And I'm gonna have it create based on what I've given it here. And here we go. In a matter of about 15 seconds, maybe if that, it has built me this workflow. So as you can see here, this is the app over here on the right-hand side. I can click on start. It says paste your blog post right here, and then it'll follow the steps. So optimize the blog post content, save to Google Doc, etc. So I just paste in my blog post, click on submit, and it should give me the output right here in the, in the app space. Okay, and here's the optimized blog post that it created. I can save it to a Google Doc if I want to, and I can also share the app if I want. Here's the link. And then now I can share it with whomever I want. So Opal, super easy to use, as you can see here, and lots of different things that you can do with it in terms of building out really simple workflows within the Google ecosystem, totally free. And if you didn't want to do this, if you didn't want to go the just type in and it'll build it for you route, you can go through and build it by yourself. So you can click on user input. It you know It is your workflow builder, so you can just connect these steps. By the way, if you're new here, my name is Rick Mulready, and for the past 11 and a half years, I've run a multi seven figure online business helping other online business owners grow and scale their business more efficiently. And today I run an AI community called the AI Playbook, which is for online entrepreneurs looking to leverage AI in your business so that you can become more efficient, streamline your business and increase profit in the process using AI. And I wanna invite you to join us. I'll link to the community in the description below. The second free Google AI tool that is totally free that you've gotta know about. And if you've been watching the channel here for any period of time, you already know about Notebook LM. However, when I'm recording this, they just released a few really cool updates to Notebook LM and essentially it's your research and thinking partner. As you can see here, you can upload a whole bunch of sources and uh, PDFs and papers and the AI within Gemini within Notebook LM. This is what it looks like inside a Notebook LM. And as you can see here, I have a whole bunch of notebooks. I can create a new notebook. And then you can see all the different types of documents and sources that you can upload into Notebook LM. So you can upload PDFs, text files, markdown, audio files, YouTube videos, website links, uh, Google Doc, information, Google Slides, etc. So let me just go back and let me just show you an example here. So this is a notebook I created all about uh, GEO, so a generative engine optimization. You can create mind maps where the AI will create a mind map of all of the source material that you've given it. So I can click on this and then in the, the mind maps keeps going. Uh, I wanna dig further into perplexity. I can click on perplexity and now it'll pull up information about perplexity. You can see here it's working and it's pulling information from my sources. So once I close that, we can go over here. I can create, create an audio overview. Welcome to the deep dive. So if you feel like you just got a handle on. So this is one of the new features within Notebook LM. You can do a deep dive, a brief overview, a, uh, a critical overview, or have a debate. And then you can choose the different links. And you, this isn't new, but you can also prompt it for what you want the focus to be on uh, in the audio overview. Super, super cool. You can also do a video overview. So it creates an explainer video out of all of your topics. You can create quizzes, flashcards. So Notebook LM is an amazing tool. I use it all the time. The next tool is Google's AI Studio and totally free, allows you access to all of Google's AI models completely free. So you come up here to the top right, click on uh, what the model that's chosen. You can choose Nano Banana. We'll talk about that in a minute. Gemini 2.5 Pro, which is their most advanced AI model, 2.5 Flash. And then you can click on all and you can scroll through all the different models like Gemma, Nano Banana, uh, Learn LM, et cetera, et cetera. Another thing I like about Google AI Studio is that I can set the temperature. The closer it is to two, uh, the more creative essentially it will be and take more liberties in how it gives you the output. The other cool thing too here is that you can compare models right here for free. So I can type a prompt in down here and I can compare the output that 2.5 Pro gives me versus 2.5 Flash. And again, that's all right here within 
AI Studio. The next free Google AI tool is also within Google AI Studio, and that is Gemini Live. So if you click on stream here, you are able to, and I've done a whole video about this on the channel, which I'll link to right here. But let's just say that I want to share my screen so I can pick any of my screens. And let's just say that I have a sales page up on my one of my tabs. I can share that sales page with Gemini right here, and then I can ask it to give me suggestions for optimizing, increasing, conversion on the sales page, for example. Super, super simple uh, use case idea, but that's what you can do with stream. The other thing you can do is you can talk to it. I can start having conversations with Gemini model right now. So you can talk through problems just like you could on your phone, but now you can do it here with the Gemini live feature in Google AI Studio. The next free Google AI tool is the ability to generate media right here within AI Studio. So you can use Imogen or Nano Banana. I just recently did a video all about Nano Banana here on the channel also. So you have access to it right here. I can click on that. And now I'm using the Nano Banana model. You can see right hand side, I've chosen that. And again, you can select the temperature, which again, you cannot do in the Gemini app. So you can deem how creative the model will be based on whatever you're asking it to create. Another cool tool, and I actually wasn't even gonna talk about this, but another cool tool and give you an idea for how to use this is the Gemini speech generation. So I can click on this and then I can upload, let's just say I have my email. So my Sunday newsletter, the AI Playbook Sunday newsletter, and I wanna create an audio file of that newsletter. So I can simply just upload it. Over here on the right-hand side, I can choose whether I want a single speaker audio or a multi-speaker audio. So let's just say for this one here, I want to do a single speaker. I can just paste my newsletter in here. It will create the audio of it. Then I can download that audio file and I can upload it into my newsletter and give people another format to consume my newsletter. All free, all within Google AI Studio here. Okay, the next free Google AI tool also in Google AI Studio, I told you it's the most versatile uh, free tool I think that Google has in terms of its AI tools. Uh, you can build apps. So just like you could with Lovable or Bolt is you can vibe code if you want your app. So just as an example, you can either start from a template. So I can click on template and you can choose a template from, from here or you can say an app that generates YouTube thumbnails using a description of the video and input image. So that's the whole prompt. Build me an app that generates YouTube thumbnails using a description of the video and input image and nano banana. All right, let's, so let's see what it comes up with. So right now it's planning out the app that I've just described in one sentence in a not, not a very great prompt, but this is how powerful this tool is. Okay, it's done its planning. And as you can see here in the screen, it is coding this new app that I asked it to build. <laughs> Literally in about 90 seconds, it created this app here. This is pretty good, right? Like I can give it brand colors if I want to, video description. This is totally usable. I can click in here. It's functional, right? So obviously I want to test it out and start to iterate on it, but I did that in about 90 seconds. I have no idea how to code. All I did was describe what I wanted and it built it. A lot of people don't know about this tool inside of Google's AI Studio. The next tool is more of a Google AI Gemini integration into Google Sheet. So this is a uh, survey results of my community. And so one of the questions is what would make the AI Playbook community more valuable to you personally? So let's just say that I wanted to use AI to aggregate this information, this column of information, and give me an action plan to implement. So I can just come down into any empty cell here and I can say equals, you'll see the first option here is generate text with AI function. I can just click on that and now I can give it a prompt. Then I can give it the cell range of the information that I want to execute that prompt on. So let's just say I can ask it right now to give me an action plan with implementation steps to improve my community based on this feedback. And then I just highlight the, the cells that I want. So boom, within a matter of seconds, I get this action plan based on the feedback that saved me a ton of time from going through all the survey results and putting them into an actual plan. The next free Google AI tool, I'm sure you've heard about it at this point now is Nano Banana. I did a whole video about uh, use cases for businesses using Nano Banana a couple of videos ago, but you can access it through, again, Google AI Studio over here to the left, generate media, 
and you'll see the model. So for example, generate an image of a banana wearing a costume. It just defaulted to that. I'll click on run. And here's the image that is created for me. I love this grok on, looks like the cereal or something in the background. Anyway, uh, I can edit this. I can do all different types of things. I can branch it from here. Uh, you can also access uh, Nano Banana here in the Gemini app. So you would just simply come down to tools, click on create images, and you are now using Nano Banana. So you also have access to these different tools here, deep research. Uh, you can also create videos with VO so you can describe a video. This is one of the other tools I wanna tell you about. So VO3, so you can either add photos, so you can upload a photo, for example, or you can simply describe the type of video that you want to create and it'll create the video for you. The video capabilities with AI are really, really good inside of VO3, which by the way, again, you can also access VO3 inside of Google AI Studio. So you, you can see it right here. You can click create clips and animate images. So just here's a simple example, create a video with an image, a cute creature with snow leopard like fur walking in a winter forest. And just for that simple prompt, it's creating this amazing video here. Here's the video that it created for us and pretty cool, right? I mean, very simple prompt. So thinking about in terms of use cases, think about how you might wanna use this in ads, for example, uh, to run ads for your business or, or product ads or something like that. So all free within Google AI Studio. Now going back to Gemini real quick, they also have what we call gems and gems, if you've not heard of them, they're essentially Gemini's version of a GPT in ChatGPT. If you are a Google person and really like the ecosystem, then gems might be really helpful for you. They're really easy to create for you know, any specific use case that you might wanna do. You just come in here, give it instructions, just like you would a GPT again, or a cloud project. This is your prompt for the gem, whatever, you're describing what you want it to do and how you want it to act. Give it a name, you can give it uh, knowledge, which I highly recommend that you give it some context here. You can upload files, you can add them from uh, your Google Drive, and then it will preview that gem over here on the right-hand side. So again, all free, all within, uh, the Gemini app. Next free Google AI tool is the ability to chat with YouTube videos. So if you're watching a YouTube video, just look below the video here and you can see the ask button. So the Gemini ask button. And so you can ask questions to the video. You can ask it to summarize it. You know, what makes Google tasks perfect? This is what the, the video is about from Jeff Sue here. Now the cool thing too, is you could ask it to give you timestamps of a video if the video doesn't already have chapters. So I can just type in my uh, shortcut, keyboard shortcut, give me the chapters with the timestamp range. And just like that, it created. And so now I can go to, oh, Google Task sidebar. I can click to that and go right to that section in the video, all with the Gemini ask feature in YouTube. And lastly, the next free Google AI tool that you need to know about is Firebase Studio. So this is great for vibe coding, or if you are a developer, this can help you build out um, landing pages, websites, apps, just a full stack, as you can see here, AI workspace. So I can just click on try Firebase Studio here. And again, I can just describe what it is that I wanna create. So here's an example of a full website that it built for me for a fictional company. Here's the prompt that I use, build a landing page for a cloud provider. The page should have a compelling headline, subheadline, uh, include sections for top products with pricing, should be clean, modern, and mobile responsive. This took about three minutes to create and it's not too bad. And again, I can, down here, I can essentially uh, vibe code, if you will. So I can describe the changes that I wanna see made in this page here, and it'll make the changes. If I wanna publish this, I could just add my Google uh, AI API key, my Gemini API key uh, down to the bottom here, and then I could publish this site. And I can use this site if I wanted to, and I don't know coding. Again, it did all the work for me, coded the entire thing based on a simple prompt of what I'm looking for. Firebase, another really cool free Google AI tool that you need to know about, and now you do. All right, so there you have it, 11 free Google AI tools that you need to know about right now. A link to all the tools in the description below. Also, if you're an online entrepreneur and you're looking to leverage AI in your business so that you become more efficient, uh, streamline your business, increase profit, and surround yourself with a community of amazing, like-minded online entrepreneurs who are all doing the same kind of thing with AI that you wanna be doing. I wanna invite you to join me in my AI playbook community. Again, I'll link to it in the description below. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.